Hey guys, Jeremy checking in for another video. <clears throat> so this is the final installment in the TPMS video series. So yeah, this is long overdue. Anyhow, let's get started. So right now we have a VCX SE scan tool that I purchased from VX Diag. And that allows me to connect to this truck's, uh, it's a J2534 communication device, which allows me to utilize factory scan tool software to connect to vehicles and talk to them for pennies on the dollar compared to what dealerships charge. Now, it isn't all sunshine and rainbows because when you buy this device, um, the software is made by Chinese programmers and, uh, well, for better lack of terms, forgive my language, it's a total bitch to set up for each vehicle that you want to program. Now, with GM, it's pretty simple. You buy the device, install the GM drivers, um, and then download and install the, uh, the Tech 2 software. It's a piece of cake, and they outline how to do it step-by-step step when you buy the device. Another part of the install is a passenger door module with forward slash TPMS, which you will read on the sticker on the back of each one that has it, out of a GMT-800 Escalade. Now, the Escalade has to have an up-level radio i believe i could be wrong i think all escalades have it actually anyways so with that being said you have the pdm out of an escalade a gmt 800 escalade and the tire pressure monitoring sensors either sitting in your hand or uh or on a workbench or installed in the tires now, i'd recommend them getting them installed in the tires and how you want to do that is up to you what I'm going to show you right now is the programming step to get this taken care of. So here's the free Tech 2 software, GM. Feel free to ridicule the, the hell out of me, but whatever. I use your AC Delco TDS website for anything related to my business. This is a personal project vehicle, so bite me. North American. We're going to select that was the wrong option. But it still worked. Well, we'll find out. It looks like it's going to still work. All right. We are in the Tech 2. So let's go ahead and drill into the diagnostics for the... We'll do 2005 because 2006 likes to crash on me. 2005, LD truck, MPV, and incomplete. We'll switch to Caddy. We'll do, sure, C... Chassis equal to an under 8600 GVW rear disc. Cool. ABS is not illuminated. We're going to slide on down to TPMS. And we'll do just data display to prove it works. So here's a, uh, a simple data display that's pulling a live feed through that passenger door module. And since I don't live in Europe or Canada or any other country that's not America, I'll switch that to miles per hour and PSI. And right now you see all the all the specs. 41, 42, sensor ID. It's currently programmed for 45 PSI. So I believe if it drops down below 10 or if it drops down 10 PSI, so to 35, it'll set off the TPMS. Warning that flashes on your DTC in your gauge cluster and the light comes on. And then you have uh, the load range which you program in here. So I'm gonna go back and special functions and here it is. So you've got learn sensor location, type tire pressure selection, so in here, you would come in here, select the load range, and specify the 
tire pressure that you would like. Here's the the uh, the option to enable TPMS, which it's a piece of cake. Just come in here and click enable. As long as you have that passenger door module, you're good. And then spare tire monitoring disable. You can come in here. Since I don't have one, you just disable it. And that's it, guys. So if you have any questions about any step in this entire process, including part numbers, let me know. I am more than happy to assist. And I hope everyone's been good over the last couple of years. They've been they've been wild. They've been hell for me for sure. So but I'm still alive and still living in the greatest country in the world, even though gas almost costs six bucks. You guys have a great night. I appreciate you all. And that's it.